المهدي صبيا وصل على سيدنا محمد حتى ইহাজিরুন <laughs> All praises are due to Allah, the Lord of the universes. All praises are due to Allah who is the first, the last, the manifest, the hidden, the one who has might and power over all things. All praises are due to Allah who sent Sayyidina Muhammad as a light and guidance to the universes. And may all peace and blessings be upon the master of the worlds, the intercessor of the day of judgment, the mercy to the universes, the imam of the prophets, the sultan of the messengers, Sayyidina Muhammad wasalam, and upon his noble family and blessed companions, especially upon the four Khulafai Rashidin, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, Hazrat Umar Farooq, Hazrat Usman Al Ghani, and Hazrat Ali Al Murtaza, and all those who follow them until the last day. Ya ayyuhal mu'minun, O believers, today is the day of Juma in the month of Rabiul Awal. In such a day, the believers should be celebrating the double blessing they have been given. The day of Juma, the Sultan of the days in the month of the birth of the Sultan of the Universes. But in this Ahir Zaman, how can the believers celebrate? Is it possible for a man who is bleeding from every side to celebrate? He cannot because he will only feel the pain that is overtaking his body. The Muslims of the 21st century may have forgotten, but the Holy Prophet ﷺ said, 
that the believers, they are one body. He said, والسلام, the examples of the believers in their affliction, mercy and compassion for each other is that of one body. When any limb aches, the whole body reacts with sleeplessness and fever. The limbs of this ummah are not just aching. The heart of this ummah is being torn out. And those who are believers, they should be feeling that pain. If we don't feel that pain, then we should not count ourselves as believers. Because the Holy Prophet ﷺ in this hadith, he's saying that it is a sign of the believer that he is going to feel pain when his brothers are in pain. If we're not feeling that pain, we shouldn't pretend that we are believers. Perhaps the Muslims of the 21st century have become so selfish and heartless that maybe they will not even know what we are talking about. Perhaps the so-called Sufis of the 21st century are so busy with making new style maulits while sitting with tyrants that they don't know what's happening in this world. But they know what is happening in this world. And at the same time, preaching unconditional love. So we should remind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in Surah Al-Zariyat, Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim And remind. For indeed, the reminder benefits the believers. Sadaqallah al And why are the true believers in pain? Because the body of this ummah is being ripped. Look at what is happening in Syria, in the land that the Holy Prophet ﷺ called Shams. The land that he is mentioned, that he mentioned in a hadith saying, How blessed is Shams? The companions around asked, Why is that? The Messenger ﷺ replied, I see the angels of Allah spreading their wings over Al Sham. And what is happening today in that land? All well, Muslims, what is happening there? The people are being massacred. The killing in Aleppo, in Halab, that is happening today is worse than what the Mongols did to Baghdad. Are we thinking? Are we understanding? Our sisters, your sisters, and my sisters are being brutalized with nobody to help them. Little children are being tortured by animals in the shape of humans. The people are being exterminated for saying La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah and they are forced to give another shahadat. And the world has turned a blind eye. The Muslim world has turned a blind eye. All Arab O oh, Arabs who are so proud to say that they are the purest of Muslims, where is your Islam? Where is your honor? For the rest of us, for the majority of us, we have no worldly power. We have no governmental power. We have no official position. And yet, we are still begging our Lord to forgive us for not being able to help and reach to those people. And we are begging Him to not count us as having a share in that tyranny. But what about those who have power? What about those who have wealth? What about those who have money pumping out of the earth every moment? What are they doing? Nothing. Just sitting and ignoring the screams of their brothers and sisters wasting the resources that belongs to the Muslims. It's not just in Syria. It is everywhere. In Burma as well. Muslims, simple village people, are being slaughtered just because they are Muslims. Their villages are being destroyed. Their lives are being taken. Their entire existence is being wiped out. And all because they are saying that shahada. Do you think they will be continued to be tyrannized if they deny the shahadat? It is only because of the shahadat that they are being tyrannized. But when they try to seek refuge in the Muslim country next to theirs, their small rafts 
uh, being turned back so that they can go back to their country and to be massacred. This is our state. This is our state in this Ahir Zaman. And it is a situation that the Holy Prophet والسلام, told us about 1400 years ago when he said, Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim The people will soon summon one another to attack you from every place in the same way that an animal pack gathers around its prey. Someone asked, Will that be because of our small numbers at that time? He replied, No, you will be numerous at that time but you will be like the scum of the sea. And Allah will take the fear of you from the hearts of your enemies and cast al-wahm into your hearts. Somebody asked, Ya Rasulullah, what is al-wahm? He replied, love of the world and hatred of death. So what happened to us, O Muslims? Where is our honor? Where is our haybat? Where is our dignity? Some will say we need to become more educated. That is how we will get our honor back. Some are saying we need to go out and fight and get weapons to get our honor. Some are saying we need to become like the Westerners, then we'll be honored. All this is wrong and all this is ignorance. We lost our honor when we abandoned our Sultan. We lost our honor when that protection that is in the form of our Sultan, the shadow of Allah on earth was removed. When the Ottoman Sultan was removed, when the office of the Hilafat was veiled, the Haybat was removed from the Muslims. And from that time until today, Muslims have been suffering. Why? Because the Muslims went against the teachings and the warnings of Allah. Holy Prophet is saying in his Hadith Sharif, the Sultan is the shadow of Allah on earth. Whoever honors the Sultan will be honored by Allah. And whoever hates the Sultan, Allah hates him. 100 years ago, the Muslims said, We don't want the Sultan anymore. We want to be modern. And if we were to ask the Muslims of today, Do you want the Sultan to come? They will say, Of course not. We want democracy. Don't be an extremist, brother. We want to live in nation states. We want to live with people of the same ethnicity as us. This is jahiliya. This is ignorance. This is the second jahiliya that the awliyaullah are warning us about. This is what the Holy Prophet وسلم, described when he said, whoever separates from the jama'at and leaves obedience to the leader of the Muslims and dies, then he dies the death of one of Jahiliya. And whoever sets out against my ummah with his sword and strikes the good of them and the evil of them, not keeping away from a believer due to his iman and does not fulfill the covenant with the one who took it, then he is not from my ummah. And whoever is killed while under a flag of ignorance, getting angry for the sake of tribalism or fighting for the sake of tribalism or calling to tribalism, then his death is that of Jahiliya. O believers, I have no doubt we are in the worst state in 1400 years because we don't have our Sultan. And without that Sultan, there is no protection. The Holy Prophet said, only the Imam is a shield behind whom you fight and you protect yourself with. That shield is now removed. Look at one example of the power of Islam. In the time of Harun al-Rashid, there was one Muslim woman who was imprisoned by the Romans. She was not killed or tortured like what is happening in Syria and everywhere else today. She was just imprisoned. And she called, she called out, O Sultan, where are you? And Harun al-Rashid, when he heard that she had said that, he said, Labbaik, I am coming. One woman. The Sultan had the azan called from the masjid when it was not namaz time, which is only done 
in emergencies. When the people asked what happened, he said, a report has reached to me that one Muslim sister was attacked in a Roman city. Wallahi, I will send an army that is so big that when it reaches them, it is still leaving our base. And tell me the strongest city of these Romans, and I will send the army to that city. And the Muslims took that city, and they freed that lady. And when she saw the Sultan, she was shocked. And he said, oh, my sister, I heard your cry. This is what was lost when we removed the Hilafat from Muslims back to Allah to send the Sultan back back to Allah to send the Hilafat back until we go down into Sajda and beg for forgiveness we will stay in this humiliating state this is the worst time and the worst more worse is coming and the only way to understand how to live in this time and to be under protection, it is to follow the friends of Allah who are authorized to speak by the Holy Prophet ﷺ himself. Scholars do not know how to survive in this time. Activists do not know how to survive in this time. Politicians do not know how to survive in this time. Philosophers do not know how to survive in this time. To follow them is to walk into the fire. Only the friends of Allah know how to live in this time because they are following the instructions of Rasulullah and our Shaykh Sahib al Sayyid, he is teaching us how to live in this time he has told us Islam was ruling now Islam is not ruling Holy Prophet is saying to us after me the Khalifas will come after the Khalifas kings will come after the kings sultans will come after the sultans sultans the time of Jababira tyranny will come everywhere in the east west north and south and in every country the tyrants they are going to rule if you live in that time try to run away from government works this is what holy prophet is ordering if you are living during that time i only give you two advice speak the truth and be patient you are not going to be able to change anything. He said to his Sahabis, a time will come to my nation that they are not going to be able to speak the truth and they are not going to be able to stop people from munkar, from wrongdoings. So his companions said, Ya Rasulullah, what kind of believers are those people going to be? He said, worse is going to come. They are not going to be able to do that outside. Leave outside. They are not going to be able to do that inside to their own family members. They are not going to be able to say what is right and what is wrong. Nobody is going to listen. Everybody is going to rule as they like. The Sahabis were more surprised. Then Prophet ﷺ closed the gap a little bit more. He said, worse is going to come to them. What is it, Ya Rasulullah? The Sahabis asked, he said, they are not going to be able to speak to their own children. They are not going to be able to change their wrongdoings and wrong things. Their hands are going to be tied by governments. They are not going to be able to change and raise their children in the way of Islam. They are not going to be able to speak to their wives. Their wives are not going to listen to them. They are going to say democracy. They are going to say feminist rights, women's rights, all these Prophet is saying. They said, Ya Rasulullah, what kind of believers are they going to be? You know vinegar is very strong. If you put any kind of worms in the vinegar, it will die. It will not live in it. But the vinegar has its own kinds of worms that will stay in that vinegar. It will live in that vinegar. He said, those of my nation in that time who are going to try to live a correct lifestyle are going to be like those worms inside the vinegar. They're going to live. And my salams to them. He's saying that from that time. My salams and my blessings to those ones. O oh, believers, in these darkest times, we must live the correct lifestyle. Maybe 
We cannot change anybody, but we can change ourselves. At least we must do that. Our hands cannot change anything. Our tongues cannot change anything. But our hearts can change. And in our hearts, we must stand up for Huck. And the heart that is beating for Huck, then the person's life must change. And it must show that he is living for Huck. He must become a Hakani. He must become a defender of truth. And that time he will be from those that will be useful to Mahdi As Sultan al-Awliya Shaykh Maulana Muhammad Nazim al Haqqani Qadasallahu Sir is saying, O people, hear and obey. We must bring a Sultan for Islam. And that Sultan will rule all Muslims of the world. We are asking for that. We are unhappy with precedents, parliaments and parliament members, but we can't do anything. We are only looking for heavenly support for real Muslims to bring Sultan al-Sharia, who will rule the Islamic world from east to west, from north to south. May Allah forgive us and allow us to live to see that Sultan, who is Sayyidina Mahdi a.s. Amin. Ya Rabbi, this is our dua. Ya Rabbi. Help those who are being tyrannized and oppressed. Ya Rabbi, don't count us as tyrants. Ya Rabbi, we reject those systems of tyranny and oppression. Ya Rabbi, we are begging you to send the Sultan, to send the Khalifa, to send Mahdi alayhi salam. And count us as the people of Haq. Amin. Astaghfirullah. 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 لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد شن كبير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد شن كبير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد شن كبير لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك بدنا زالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك بدنا زالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك بدنا زالمين سبحة القدس ربنا رب الملائكة وروا سبحة القدس ربنا رب الملائكة وروا سبحة القدس ربنا رب الملائكة وروا إن بنا إن الله الإسلام قام الصلاة بسم الله الله يكبر الله يكبر الله يكبر الله يكبر كلنا إلى حين الله شلون إلى حين الله كلنا محمد رسول الله كلنا محمد رسول الله حي على سلا حي على سلا حي على سلا حي على سلا قد محمد سلا قد خاص الله يكبر الله يكبر لا إله